wanted to share with y'all um, some things that have taken place today. Um, I went to church and the service was awesome. Like it had things in there that I that I needed, things that were very beneficial um, to my life and what I have going on. So um, I'm always. in my own lane, doing whatever, coming up with whatever, whatever type of ideas I have. I, I usually try to run with it, but I am learning that I just can't run with the first thing come off the top of my head. It has to make sense. Um, I have the greatest mentors in the world. Like, like those, my sisters, my brothers, whatever, however, like I have people who really genuinely um, care about what I have going on in the direction that I'm moving in in my life and I am grateful for that. I am so appreciative of, of all of that all the people who, who are around me like my circle man. Um, I am just very thankful even some of the people that I used to be around those who, those who still keep in contact with me I speak I I try to catch up with them when I can it's not as easy these days um my focus is different and people have hit me up like oh you change you don't be with us no more or whatever however and i had to explain to somebody that it's not necessarily me acting bougie or that like like they like to say oh you must be done got some bread you just don't be around us or whatever and this this is way before the pandemic or whatever but i'm just not having the opportunity to um express what was going on and my my point of view on some things so the the person was just like you just don't be around us oh you just start moving different and that's not the case at all and i let them know like hey when i was around I was I was in the house like I'm I'm fresh out of all these surgeries. I ain't got nowhere to go. Um I could sit and chill like that. I was like in a depressed moment where it's like God I gotta have another surgery. Y'all gotta do this. Y'all I thought the last surgery was the last surgery. Like what's up? So I had time to to go sit and chill with 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 my folks like, like my people i had time to do that i had time to do whatever i was still drinking and smoking doing whatever like i was the party girl anytime y'all want to turn up let's turn up where it's at like i'm there i'm there i might can't dance or whatever but i'm most definitely there and i'm bringing the vibe um now i'm just really chill i am so I am so so chill. I don't do those things no more. If I had to let that person know, like, no, nah, I really, you know, what I look like coming around now. And then for what y'all to be in the corner, like, oh, she, she, had, like, she really don't want to be here. And that might be the vibe. I might not want to be there because I'm not doing the same things that I used to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not smoking and drinking anymore, so it doesn't, it doesn't benefit me to be there. <sighs> it was cool while it was lasted. I probably. You know, while it lasted, I probably felt like it was the the best moment of my life. Like even even my work experience and work history, you couldn't catch me out here in the streets riding around like I had time to ride around. I was always working two, three, four jobs. Like I ain't had time for that. I'm always working, trying to find out who I am in the process. But you know, um. I don't know. I thank God for the growth, the change, everything, man. Like, mm -hmm. even even with people that I deal with, people are here for a season. Some gonna be here, some ain't gonna be here. It won't be no sleep. I, I do not lose sleep over who's here, who's not gonna be here. I just really be cooling in my own lane. Like it's whatever. Um, but yeah. So today in service. Um, some things were mentioned uh, about us being better or, or or whatever, and one of the things that that was said that I that that I'm on lately is health and wealth. That's it. That's it. 
that's it i don't want to just be wealthy out here with no common sense or, or whatever so even with praying for wealth i am asking for the mindset and the instructions to know what to do with it you know what i'm saying um i don't want to just be wealthy i want to know where who need help who, who whatever or whatever the instructions are going to be and i want to be in good health i can remember the first couple of whatever with the surgery thing or with my foot i didn't even thought i was gonna be walking like uh like bro I'm, I'm what seven surgeries later i'm walking Woo! i am i'm aches and pain every now and then but for the most part i am walking the medicine that they be having me on i done went from from hydro to oxy to morphine in the house stuck taking all this medication to try to get some type of pain relief but on the flip side of that i guess you won't feel no pain while you sleep and i guess that's what the medicine's supposed to do so um i couldn't live life on on the medicine like that man uh ugh, it's just mm, i used to be stuck like in zombie mode so most of the time i would skip out on my medicine just so I could go around and, and do whatever needed to be done. I'm still a, a whole mama out here. Like, I can't be stuck in the house with with my kids that need to do whatever. And I thank God that they're older now. Like, bro, I, they pretty much, everybody know how to cook. Everybody know how to move around for themselves. Everybody know how to how to do whatever it is that, that they need done. But at the end of the day, I'm still a mama. Like, and I still got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, myself and then like last year I started taking this tea I think one of my cousins was taking it or something like that was like hey this is tea we got nothing else to do or, or whatever you should try this so I tried it I was like okay awesome. I'm in the bathroom but it's alright I guess so um, I stuck with that at the time I was on a fast. I went 30 days with no meat. Well, I had seafood. I had fish and I had shrimp and vegetables. So basically, for like 30 days straight, it was mainly like a low country ball with no um, with no sausage. So I had to get disciplined. And on top of that, it was a whole lot of praying going on, waking up in the morning, afternoon, whatever, however. Like, it was a whole little shake back experience. Um, and at the time when I when I did that, I was at like 264. Uh, by the time I got on the scale, then now, of course, every time I go to the doctor, they put me on the scale. I started losing weight and the people was just like, um, what, you, what you taking? They was looking at me like I was on crack or something like, ma'am. What you doing? And on top of that, I had to get drug tests, mouth swabs, and urine sample every time I was going to the doctor. So they knew I wasn't on nothing besides whatever this stuff was that y'all was giving me. But they wanted to make sure. Um, so that was that. And then after the 30 days, I don't know what happened. I guess I had, yeah, came February, I had another surgery. And it was like oh my gosh i'm not about to be stressed out again i'm about to i'm just i'm i just lost focus i didn't get into a depressed mode but i stopped taking the, the tea and everything else so um right now i'm like consistently between 234 and 238 or whatever when i go to the doctor every month but i was like nah it, i felt a major difference when i got off of the fast and when I started eating meat it was like my body was like oh um, you ain't supposed to have this it was like an automatic rejection or I would feel sick or whatever so I was like okay I took a little mental note like hey you need to start eating right so that you can feel better so I was just like, procrastinating on when I was gonna start again or saying man I don't need to do all that or whatever however so fast forward, uh, like last month, I'm in the, in the kitchen at the church. We're preparing breakfast for uh, for the youth, one of the youth programs. 
and I went and grabbed a Red Bull. In between time, I'm always running. I'm always on the go. Whatever I need done, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to hurt later. Think about that hurt later. My foot is going to fall off, whatever. I say all type of stuff like that. And just continue to run, run, run. So I went and grabbed. I went and, I think I sent my daughter. I sent my daughter to the store. I was like, hey, go grab me um, two Red Bulls. She came back in the kitchen with the Red Bull. And one of my sisters was just like, what you doing with that? Like, sure, I know you're not about to take that. I was like, yeah, I'm finna drink it. Man, I'm tired. I done been up last night. I had drive a bouncy house all to this location, whatever. Else. She said, why you finna take a Red Bull and then you got NRG? I said, NRG? I, I mean, yeah, I got it. Yeah, it, it boosts your energy or, or whatever. She said, Sharika, where your stuff at? Took my bag with my products in it got it don't don't use it don't promote it don't even don't even mention it don't think about it no nothing took my product out my bag and made me take it she put the the, the neutral breast in my mouth with the nrg and when i tell you it clicked just like that Baby, I was running around the church in circles. I'm finding all type of stuff to do. Now I can't sit still. Can't keep still in the service. And I'm like, I had this product. And they do that? <laughs> From then until now, I wake up faithfully and take it. Like, bruh, I, it is. I don't even like carrying purses. If and if you know me, you know I'm really not the girly girl type. So I don't you hardly ever catch me with a purse. I, and what I got to do? A whole bag. And guess what my bag got in it? A whole bunch of products. Like I do not leave my house. Like look, this pack. I, I run around with this pack right here. This give me all the energy that I need. And I was like, boy, I don't feel like no, 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 no smoker or nothing. Like I'm good. Like. Like, where do I sit out at? Like, I need to order me something. I need to start back. It was like motivation for me to get back on my own product that I sell. And then on top of that, I had some sponsor issues or, or whatever that was going on. Um, So it was really discouraging. Like, bruh, I'm just about to take it. I'm not about to sell it. And my sister was like, Sharika, you, you just ain't making no sense. Help me to help you make sense. Like, this ain't making no sense. And I done told you that if it don't make no money, it don't make no sense. You is sitting on billions of dollars of product. What are you doing? So, <laughs> so she reached out to um one of her people and got me in contact with her. And from then on, I have been growing like I am. I be overwhelmed like, oh my gosh! Like, and sis, sis is so connected. Um, she's in real estate. She has been helping me. Listen, and she's she's well paid. So I be like, nah, that girl too busy. She ain't got time to be bothering with me. But she be calling me like y'all. I am so grateful for the connections and for the people that I have surrounded myself with. Not saying that everybody who I've been with in the past wasn't for me but the people who have entered my life in this season right here amazing awesome like bro i am very thankful i have to be <sighs> i don't know but y'all i'm just i just had wanted to share that man health health and wealth and just surround yourself with people who care about your about your well-being and where you going or whatever don't be so caught up around the people that you currently with or be so focused or in afraid of losing who that the people who you with now if they are meant to be there bro they're gonna be there and everybody that's around here stressing no new friends and all that how how if your friends that you around now ain't doing nothing for you ain't motivating you ain't ain't speaking life into you you need to get rid of them folks and find all the new friends that you can that's gonna help you go somewhere like it's that it's we gotta always be humble at all times and that's what i'm learning like bro my circle got whatever bigger houses cars make more money than me and them girls and and boys men 
treat me with the same respect, bro. Like I'm, I'm a millionaire status like them. Like, bro, they don't, they don't act like. Oh, I'm not helping her. She's beneath me or whatever. As much as I hate talking on the phone, bro, they reach out to me, and I have to be the type of person that 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 has to become available at least for my team because at the end of the day if they give up on me then what i got i can't be like oh she calling again man she man i don't feel like that today no i can't drop the ball on my circle man no oh, man i am thankful bro y'all know who y'all are everybody that play a part and what i got going on shout out to all y'all but yeah man i just said wanted to come on um, so many gems have, have been dropped, um, given to me for free, and I take that in. Ain't no way I'm finna be in a room full of millionaires, and I don't know how to move, and I don't know how to speak, and I don't know how to address myself. It's, it's things that I, I most definitely still have to learn, and in the process, bruh, I'm, it's time to, it's time to get back to the research, um, like I said earlier, man, before now, I always kept all these jobs working for other people. And right now, my mindset is not to just be an entrepreneur or self-employed. I'm trying to sit home somewhere or wherever I'm at, vacation or whatever it is that I'm, I'm led to go do. And watch my business. I don't want to have to physically be there. Yeah, everybody's saying you got to start there and start here and all that. But as the world changes, it's like, um, you ain't got to go on, go do nothing no more physically. Maybe the research. Educate yourself on what it is that you're trying to do. But other than that, um, other than that, you just really have to have the mindset, the drive, and the motivation. That's it. And people always want to see what you got going on. So whatever you got going on and you, you're you showing and, and motivating people, make sure it's real. Ain't nobody want to hear none of that. That stuff that you ain't even did yourself or stuff that you ain't even trying yourself. Them folks don't want that. They want everything you want. And even if they don't comment on it or, or like it or whatever, they see you. And that's it. So that's that's the, that's what my mind said, man. The the health and wealth, man. Every day, every day, I'm, I'm I'm getting back to me. Foot hitting the ground. And last year, the year before, whatever, all these events I had, community events or whatever. When I was still on the knee scooter, still on the crutches and and everything else, I'm out here going to get sponsors, going to get all these people. And now that I'm back walking, I ain't doing half of that lost the energy but man I'm, I'm back focused now i'm back focused okay like anything it's all blue i i look like the nrg pack today that's me but yeah i just wanted to share that with y'all real quick man y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day i'm out with the products for who all of my people who place orders i'm just going to drop off whatever they ordered on top of me doing my thing and just promoting health and wealth if i don't if i don't say nothing else for the rest of the year the results gonna show for itself i'm motivated enough myself on top of like i said my team bro like oh thank god i had to change my mindset and now it's just a you just gotta stay focused it ain't easy some days it's a struggle but at the at the end of the day, you know what the long-term goal is or you know what your end goal is. So, you just have to keep your eye on that. Keep your your your, your daily quotes, affirmations, whatever it is that you do. You, you have to be consistent with it, man. Like, I don't know. Ain't no way I could, I could, I could show y'all something or produce something that I ain't on and I, that I ain't be consistent with. So, I don't know. For whatever reason... I dropped the ball the, the first time on it. Who knows? But I'm in here now. It, it's whatever um, I'm working on being more available. Like I said, 
um and i really do be available but i don't be available but anyway i'm working on that um i just wanted to share that so i'm out peace y'all enjoy the rest of the day